Hey guys, it's Reed. And it's Chris. And Muriel. And we are here with our final video to show you a couple more of our favorite types of games. So, I have a diagram on the, on the board for a game called Numbers Tag. And this game is super duper fun. Split up your group of kids in two different groups and assign one group to either be odd numbers and the other group to be even numbers. Have them separated by, you know, maybe the half court line in a gym or whatever you want to do to split the groups up. Whoever is running the game is going to yell out a number. And it could be whatever number, however long. But if it's an even number, then team even is going to have to run to their home base, labeled as the even spot. As they're running, team odd is going to be chasing team even to try to get them before, get them and tag them before they get to their spot. If they get tagged, they switch teams over. Therefore, team even's numbers would decrease. You can even have way more fun with it. You could throw out math equations if you wanted to. You could yell out 3 plus 7, which equals 10. So that's an even number. Team even would run over. Team odd would have to tag them. The game is over once everyone has been put onto one team. All right, guys. And the next game we have is what we call Snake Pit. Okay, so this is essentially a relay game. So what you're going to do is you're going to split up your group into even numbers, and they're going to be on opposite sides of a court or a classroom. Okay? What you're going to do is you're going to play a, whatever type of music you want to. Okay? They're going to be either relaying, going back and forth to the other side during this music. This could be running forward. This could be running backwards. This could be side shuffling. This could be crisscrossing all the way across. Whatever you guys want to do. Okay? Now what happens next is whoever is running the music is going to stop it at any point in time. And whenever the game, the music stops, whoever is caught in the middle doing the relay has to come to the center of the room and they have to perform whatever exercise that the person running the music chooses. Some ideas you can do are some, some, some squats, you can do lunges, you can do jumping jacks, you can do push-ups, whatever you guys really want to do, um, that's what you choose. All right, and for your final game, we're going to go ahead, I'm going to teach you how to play Yoshi. So, this is going to be your gymnasium, and on either side is going to be the safe zone. So, what you're going to do is you're going to split up the kids into two groups. And the objective of the game is to go from one side of the gym over into your safe zone. So, whoever gets all their team members in the safe zone is the winner. The only deal, it's kind of like sharks and minnows, so as you cross the line to get to your safe zone, if a member of the opposite team touches you and tags you, you gotta sit down on the ground. And you gotta sit there until a member of your own team comes over and unfreezes you. So, the last piece of this game is when the teacher or your PE instructor yells, Yoshi! That means everyone needs to stop what they're doing and run to the safe zone. Whoever gets all their kids in the safe zone first is the winner. All right. Thank you so much. We hope you enjoyed our games and have fun in your after school program. Thanks, guys. Bye, guys.